Hey, so what is the Java string pool? The string pool is this special kind of memory. It's a memory that's stored in the heap, but it was built for string types. Now, string types in Java are how we represent the character sequences. Uh, so just any sequence of characters. And sequence of characters, just text in general, is something we will need to represent all the time, right? It's one of the common used kind of data information. It's how we share information as text. So because character sequences are used so often, and strings are object types, they're not primitive types. So it means that they would normally be stored in the heap. But because character sequences, and especially maybe you have a character sequence that you use more than one time, because we use those character sequences often, this special string pool memory was made in order to just hold all of those strings in an easier way. Uh, more specifically, the string pool actually holds these string literals uh, are what we call them. So basically it's uh, how we, the technical is how we make the string, uh, basically using the new keywords or not. Uh, that's kind of the technical of it, but basically in Java, we're able to represent characters with the double quotation marks. And when we do that, when we give just the double quotation marks with some characters, we're making a string literal. Uh, and so these string literals are stored in the string pool. Uh, the nice thing about the string pool and basically avoiding duplicates is, let's say that we represented something like the text Java uh, or Monday, whatever it was. And then we needed to use that same sequence of characters, Monday, let's say, Monday, M-O-N, D, et cetera. In the string pool, if that text already existed, we wouldn't need to recreate another instance, another object of it, right? We would actually be able to just access and reference that same object. So it helps us to save memory by not having to make so many uh, new objects constantly. If they have the same values, they can just access the same exact object. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of our new content and leave us a comment. Let us know what you're interested in seeing next.